¿Cuál es la diferencia entre la mente consciente y la mente subconsciente? ¿Cómo se genera una enfermedad? ¿Existe la remisión instantánea? ¿Por qué tengo pensamientos negativos? ¿Puedo crear una vida diferente? ¿Cómo puedo manifestar lo que deseo? ¿Qué es la epigenética? Epigenetics is a new field of biology that is unraveling the mysteries of how the environment influences the behavior of cells without changing the genetic code. Teaching the belief that genes control life was very, very incorrect. When you teach genetic control, you teach victimization. You didn't pick the genes as far as we know. The genes control your traits. You can't change the genes, so uh, you become victimized by your heredity. Because just think about what the principal Darwinian belief is, uh, that evolution is based on a struggle for survival with a competition for fitness. If that's your way of life, then every day, by definition, you are living in a, a stress hormone uh, body because of all the fears that we, that we have. And yet evolution says, no, evolution is based on community and cooperation. A body has 50 trillion citizens. They live in harmony with each other. Every human being, we're beginning to find out, is like a cell in a larger community called humanity. So in biological terms, the organism that's evolving on the planet is not the human being. We already did that. The organism that's evolving is the super organism called human civilization. Humans are fighting each other and killing each other. And if I say, well, what would that look like inside the body if the cells fight each other and kill each other? And I say, oh, well, that's called autoimmune disease, self-destruction. How can you survive in this world? The answer is you must essentially detach yourself from this field around you, not be taken in by the stories, not be buy into the fear, not to buy into the threats on our existence, to start to recognize, look, we are creating these lives. If you buy other people's creation, then you manifest what they're creating. And I think we're really approaching that with 2012, and I think that is a very auspicious beginning because it's a, it's not a mystical thing, it's, a, it's really a change in the energy fields of the earth because the Earth is changing its position in relationship to the Milky Way. Uh, so basically, uh, the, the energy that comes from, from all the stars, uh, and the sun especially, influence who we are. When we change our positions uh, in the relationship to the field, we change our response because we evolved in the field of energy. And when the field of energy changes, so do we.